some say peace is found within. The truth is, peace is found all around us. To find your peace, you must be one with your surroundings. You must respect and connect. It takes dedication, years of training, and patience. To find my peace, I have chosen to isolate myself in the woods. But this is not the only way. The masters have whispered of another way. You can just get yourself a manual. I just feel so good. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back at the racetrack again. I'm not sure what is going on, but after the last video where we were at the track and uh, a lot of stuff happened to the car, I believe the transmission in here is on its last leg and it is ready to let go. So I have no clue what is gonna happen tonight. It's making some very, very bad noises. Huh? Yeah. Daniel, why don't you just tell the camera what it sounded like from the red light? Y'all 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 both explain. Okay. All right. All right. So um Gavin called Daniel and he's like, "Hey, my car's making a sound." And he launched and it kind of went and then it went. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. Like and it sounded it like sounds gear like, match it sounds, and it sounded like we're getting a trailer tonight. It sounds like your car whenever you miss second gear. So the problem is that Demonology is on its way here on a five hour drive to come and race it. So. Oh well, if it breaks, it breaks. Shit happens. It'd be like that. Mm. Yeah. I sat down. I sit down, Tatiana. I want to see you ice it down. Spill it over, all over the ice tank. Yeah. Toot it in there. Toot that ice in the hole. This is honestly like the most impressed I've been in a long time because I, I just, this time, <laughs> it's, like, it's normally a joke. Like, oh, it could blow up, but this time I'm like, it's gonna blow up. It's, it's gonna blow up. Bro. It's on the small pulley still, but they pulled a degree out of timing, and then they uh, they dropped the rev limiter to 82. He's trying to keep it together, he said. He looked at the logs from the last time we were here, and he was like, yeah, bro, I, what? I told you. <laughs> Did he put a bolt in there? <laughs> I wonder if that's what the noise was whenever I was trying to take off and it just was, was that, shaking it. It did sound like it was coming from under the car, but I'm just going to be optimistic and say that was it. Oh, well, if it breaks, it breaks. We're already like, expecting <laughs> it. I'm listening. All right. You good? That's coming from the front. That's directly underneath you. Yeah. Didn't. It's like literally right here in the car. I don't know. I don't know. Can you feel it on the shifter? No. I really wish that I didn't have to be here tonight, to be honest with you, because the car doesn't sound healthy underneath it. The transmission doesn't sound healthy. I'd like to be able to just pull it, see what's going on, and assess the damages. But the problem is that Demonology is already on its way here, like I said. So I don't really want to back out or anything like that. I'm going to do a first gear burnout. actually crossed the line but that felt great oh man that was adrenaline right there holy crap everything felt smooth going through the entire pass though so I think everything's okay IETs are staying really low 102 dang this is getting very low especially after a pass like that that's pretty cool anyways though um yeah i don't know trans is making a weird noise but it just now pulled like it was doing i mean i don't know it was very healthy i slipped the clutch real good that time i slipped it a little bit too long but obviously like i said i didn't want to launch too hard oh boy they're going down the track for some reason hopefully i didn't lose something or something i don't know it's sketching me out today thank you Boy, 
of them tires got skinny. Ten one at 140. I'm normally trapping around 145, so definitely much, much slower. But it's running safe, which is the good thing. But um, definitely not going to be competitive for demonology tonight. But at least we'll be able to run like he's been wanting to. That's all I care about is just keeping the car together long enough to be able to run him. It held together at least through the whole entire pass. Yeah. So that's good, Oh, uh, For the record, I did not even tell him to pull timing out. I just told him to fix the throttle body. But he said he would not even send me the long pass of how dangerous it is for this motor. Yeah. I support that. I don't. I'm Why? upset. Because it was running so fast. Nah, just get a few more passes in. Race some good people. Then you can blow it up. That's the main goal is just to hold the car together to actually get these passes in with, with uh, demonology. So. Yeah. Oh, you're riding a wheelie. You don't ride a wheelie. What's the zip on it? I'm about to get. Long gone, especially because reaction time. Reaction time is what I'm really worried about. Oh, this is the vet. Oh, all motor. You heard all that? Motor. All, motor. all motor. I heard a whistle. He uh, he's going right now to go unload his car. He trailered it here. He drove my car here, but weird flex. <laughs> no I'm joking. Anyway, so he's unloading his car. He's about to pull up here. So. You smell it? Well, looky here. I'm jealous of those tires. I need me some big old, uh, some big old Hoosiers like that. Look at that. He put Mickey on the Hoosiers. Hey, why'd you put Mickey on them Hoosiers back there? Hey, how come I saw them commenting on your post today? Hey, hey man, you know I rep Mickey, brother. <laughs> they said, man, I need another set of tires. Uh -huh. They said, well, you got to wait till your lobby come back in. That's so, funny. you know, I, I had Hoosers sitting in the garage. I sprayed <laughs> Mickey on them and give them. Oh, my gosh. That really is dope. That's Look right. at that. Look at that. Hoosier. <laughs> he said, nope, they're Mickey Thompson. Oh, you got a full slick on here, too. Must be nice. I need a full slick so bad. All right, here we go. What I find is that a lot of the racing community, a lot of guys look at street outlaws, right? And they just think it's everybody's fighting and stuff like that. But in my track, I don't find that. I find that That's how it is we, I find we love racing, we enjoy racing. Like I raced a guy in a little Honda Civic and man, we had a great time. No, if you beat me, I'll make a funny ass video and I'll make fun of myself. If I beat you, I'll make a funny video or something. Yeah. You know, but but I think the racing community is a lot closer than what people think it is. Oh, yeah. And we all love, love cars. That's like the two guys that trained me to race. They both race Mustang. I refuse to ride a Mustang because if I do, I don't want to fall in love with it. Hey, and that is, and that is you can be honest. Right? I mean, I mean, because it's such lighter. I mean, it's such a lighter car. I'm a bad guy. How much oh, that car weighs? You'd be surprised how much this car weighs. No, 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 no. Uh, right there, right now, it's probably weighing about 4,200 pounds. This car weighs 4,004. Wow. That's what I was gonna say. You weigh 200 pounds more than me, but you got an auto and way more power. You think I weigh too? How, how, how you know I don't weigh 50 pounds? We're talking about that car. Oh, oh, okay. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about that car. Yeah. How much do you think I weigh? How much do you think I weigh? Uh, about 180. He's been putting on pounds. He's, he's, he's doing himself all day. Wow. You've been eating your Wheaties. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bunch back hidden right here. It's hiding under my shirt. I've been training him. I'm bound to lose one down here. Yeah. Oh, this is called Hoosier 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 so I'm gonna break off a piece, you're gonna break off a piece and we go. Okay, down. hold this right quick. Lift them how they are. I got me a piece. Grab, grab, grab your piece. Damn, he got a big piece. I'm hungry. Look man. at it. Oh, I sure hope it is Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, you like spicy food though. Oh, hell oh. Hell oh. Hell <laughs> oh. Hell oh. Hell oh. Hell oh. You keep that. Hey, you realize you just gave a coon ass spicy food. Oh. Right? We live in Louisiana, man. This is good. Damn, I looked up in the bra fast with Bird Rabbit. Yeah. I gotta get my butt to Oh, you gotta jump that? Jump off. Jump boy, we gotta go. Okay. You back that piece of shit out of the way. Back it out now. You pull it in here, I'm a goddamn heavy race car. I ain't telling you, shit, boy. I'll call in there with your fing ass. There's, there's a car behind me. Pull in for a goddamn high horsepower car. I don't know who y'all think y'all are. 
Hey, this dude is losing his shit. I don't give a fuck. You don't get it from this motherfucking car. The dude was mad because the track owner told us that whenever we were ready to run, we could go move up to the front. All right, reaction time is what I'm trying to do right here. Yep, he got me. I uh, spun in first. Just like he talked about. Don't tell me the track shit. He <laughs> run 955 on a small tire on a street car. Come on. <laughs> track ain't jump. Turn that bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fair win. I got nervous and I'm gonna be honest, I just dumped the clutch on accident. My bad guys, I feel like I just let all y'all down. <laughs> uh, his car is fast though. I know it's definitely faster than mine top end and bottom end now after seeing it uh, next to me in the lane. Whenever I was, uh, whenever I caught traction and everything and my car was still pulling, his car was still pulling ahead of me. So I know it's fast. Kind of curious of what he ran though. I'm sure he probably ran, if I had to guess, that was, I probably, I probably ran a 10-1 and he probably ran a 9-6. Six, nine, set. No, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Thank you. Well, I was right. 10-1 at 141. Even whenever we got going and we were going down the track, he was still just pulling away from me. So this is like it's no a fa man. fast car. Hey, look, you ran two tenths faster than I've ever been, even stabbing the brakes in a thousand foot. Hey, man, so tell us about your car. Tell us about your car. And I know this man know all about it. I was going to say, he probably Be Because he has a car like this that he whoops my ass with all the time. It's an auto. Automatic. Well, you know, I asked my, I asked my other race instructor, Rod Hansel, to teach me how to drive a stick. Yeah. And he said, all I can tell you about a stick is how to go get an automatic. But he's won several major competitions okay. driving a stick shit. Yeah. Yeah. So he loves to drive a stick shit. Yeah, yeah, he likes the challenge. Yeah, that's so why I love it. he doesn't want to teach me because he said, he's, he said I'm hard-headed enough just to teach me how to race this automatic. So Amen. yeah. <laughs> Get, get out of here, third degree. I don't know, that's just my thing though. Yeah. I like the challenge. If I go up there with th that pass, yeah. I blow the tires off, only run 10 one. But if I go up the next pass and get it right, I might run yeah. a 9, 6, 9, 7. That's what I like. I like to be able to go up there. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice and back and forth. I've had this car for a year and just now I'm getting to actually learn how to drive. So I cut a well yeah, I'm over eating sandwiches. Good Lord! I took it slow on that tree. Man, I never cut a tree that low. You don't want a red light and give a race away. A 60 foot was a... And what was your 60 foot? 170. What? I, I, I blew the tires off first year. Well, I'm saying, the, I have to drive the car, I'm telling you. It's, it, if, 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 I don't, if I don't do it right one time, it messes up. Well, let's let it cool off for a minute and we'll do it again. All right. Hey, anybody here, I'm telling you, if you're running that fast, you're, you're good runs with a lot of people here. There's a lot of cars fast. Out here. I'll be somebody out of here to snatch a big soul and I'll, and I'll go get it. Hey, you know what? Oh, you need to start what? coming over here more often. Because there's a lot of dudes that mess with me so bad. I need to just have you as like a big brother. Just here. Hey, I'll throw you, you know, to You need him to come with his car. Yeah, he'll come and wipe out. He'll come and wipe out everybody. Hey, y'all need to. Yeah. Man. Who is it? Who is it you want me to race? Hey, did you see that dude come up and beat my, beat up, like start smacking all over my car? Who? You didn't see that? Oh, the old cop. The old pops? Yeah, he came up. Hey, man, I saw you still open up a can of spinach on you. I saw pop That's crazy. Gavin, Gavin, where I come from, we make a race. Yeah. So we look at it, kind of see how it was. So I'll give you the back tire to hit. 
double up. I mean, we'll make it a race. We, yeah. we just have fun with it. It's not about winning or losing. It's a, a chase is a race, right? I gotta walk it down. Because the problem is it's hard for you to get out of the hole. Yeah, I know. Now, once you get out of the hole, you get boogie woogie, right? Yeah. You know, come on up, man. If you want to come up, man, I would love to. Man, you got a big fan base. Hey, you got the biggest fan base in Dallas, bigger than here. He hasn't he hasn't ran that car yet, has he? No. Alright, so they got me running. Hey man, tell us about this bad machine. <laughs> <laughs> Go look at that transmission. Come look at the transmission right here. Okay, let me see. Third degree! What you what you call that right there? Wow. That's that man's mission in there. <laughs> oh, look at Sean wearing your shirt. God look at the shirt. Man. Hold up. Let's do a plug. Let's do a plug. Plug. Right now. Mark's plug. For only $20, Wait. you could get entered in. <laughs> Say the manual. <laughs> www.justsix.com slash shop. All right. Look at that turbo. Yeah. I know. It's a big turbo. Oh, my God. Big old turbo. So this car is a friend of mine's, and they just recently built it. They have literally zero passes on it. Uh, it made a little bit over 1200 at the tires, so it is a very, very fast car. Uh, he's just never gotten to feel the car out yet. It's a fresh build. It says 1,032. No, I don't think Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. This man accused my car of being a 1,000. Gavin, why is your picture on the, on, on the front of my car? My you, said, you said, let me go and put it in race mode. Bam! A thousand, I told you 1,022. You I said, said 32. Oh, come on. That's 10 horsepower. Hey, hey who you about to go run? I'm going to run this 850 car right here. 850? We're going to be out there supporting you. Yes, Hey, man, ain't going to be no... Hey, I, I don't, I, hey I'm not going to get his soul, Gavin. Oh, come on, man. Hey, that's how I feel going against you. Yeah, but I'm going to snatch at it, though. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Third degree. Third degree. Third degree. Get in the car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus Christ. It's really refreshing to see uh, nice people that have YouTube channels. Demonology is a cool dude. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, go do so. He's actually a really, really nice dude. I cannot get over that. I can name off a list of people um, on one hand, honestly, that I've met that have YouTube channels that are actually really, really cool. And he, he definitely made that list. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gavin, I'm going to run with you. Then I'm going to come back around and run with, uh, with the Corvette. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all ask for a race for the white Corvette and the red Demon. We going to get it done. So basically what's going to happen here is uh, Demonology is going to give me the hit, which is basically meaning that as soon as I take off, he's going to take off. So that way I don't have to worry about cutting a light. He's just basically going to leave at the same time that I do. And uh, I'm just going to have him next to me to chase me down and completely pass me up on the big end. <laughs> oh, that car is crazy. What was that? I lost... I lost my inlet air temp and oil temp. We've still got we still got good oil pressure. As soon as I shifted in the fourth, the car like completely died. Damn it, man. I cannot get a clean pass in this car recently. Come on, dude. And a smoke clutch. <laughs> Do you smell what I smell? Only a 10-2 at 132. Look at that. Why did the trap speed go down to 132? Wow, that's weird. Oh look, I won. I actually did beat him by 0 0.02. What's the damage? How'd you know? How did we know? We saw a big ass backfire and tons of smoke. Huh? Uh, what's that smoke? You heard the clutch? Yeah, after like fourth gear, or when you yeah. switched to fourth gear, it was we thought you might have blown a head gasket. Really? Oh, sh**. 
it, 60 foot is pretty decent, 150. So it was almost my fastest 60 foot again. But then it got down there. Whatever I shifted into fourth, it lost everything and blew. It popped. That was whenever. Yeah. I don't know. It blew smoke and everything. Yeah, a big, big cloud. Whose camera is that? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Are you serious? You did an oil pressure delete, dog. Check it. Have you checked it? I have oil pressure. Really? It blew that big? Yeah. That's why we, I was it immediately like. It looked like you hit dirt. What? All right, ready? <gasps> That's, That's not good. What happened? I'm surprised. <laughs> You didn't shift either. It was it was during a gear. Like no it, no no no. It was whenever I shifted to fourth. Oh. I shifted to fourth and I just heard like a pop and it just lost everything. Huh. Everything. I don't even have. It doesn't even have an I18 uh, Pop your hood. Manifold. Pop your hood. Pop your hood. Pop your hood. What is going on? What the f happened? I don't know. What happened? I don't know. Like what happened on your side? It's 60 footed fantastic and lost everything after that. What could have happened is your baffle could have got pushed back. You can hear it rattling around in there. The check engine light literally just popped up. I've got no IATs or oil temp. I do have oil pressure, so I'm not killing the car right now. Intake, air temperature, sensor, circuit range performance, air temperature, air temperature. You know what happened? What had to have happened? The only thing that would make sense is one of the fittings off of the intake blew off. Well, let's look at it. Notice, look down in the airbox. Oh, that's yeah, full. Of hey, hold on. Oh, that is oil. When's the last time you drained your catch can? Just the other day. It's completely empty. Yeah. I know for sure. Oh, you got, Wait, you got a puddle this, down there. Is this supposed like to be unplugged? Down. You got a whole hey, puddle down there. Off. Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a flathead and take Where's the filter it? off. Is it? Yeah, that's. Look at look at down here from oh, this angle. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Where's your? Hang on. Is it coming out of the filter? That's what I was going to see. If you. Yep. yep. So it's pressurized oh, oil from that way. That's why. That would make perfect sense. Your exhaust baffle got closed off. It put no back pressure on it, so it went out through the supercharger. That would make sense. You think sense. so? It's possible. I think that is because of this too. So do you think because it's baffled exhaust, that two-step is blowing those baffles out? Yeah. Easy. Absolutely. That's why they don't run mufflers on cars like that. This is all making so much more sense. What all did I miss? Uh, no, the baffles inside of the, uh, inside of the muffler. You remember how we kicked the exhaust in? And it was like, hey, look at this. Look under there. Oh, what I think happened is the, the baffle, because of the two step lever, I shifted into four so hard, it finally blew that baffle out. It closed off the exhaust. Whenever it closed off the exhaust, it over pressured because the exhaust couldn't go nowhere. It blew oil out of the supercharger. All over the engine. Wait, wait, where? Look, on, look, look, look in the air box. Out of the air box? What? You ever seen some like that? Saying, that's a lot of crankcase pressure. I know. No oil. No oil. No oil. No oil. Yeah, no oil. No oil at all. I appreciate it. I got me. I got me a demonology soul. Nice. Yeah, a demonology shirt. I can hear the baffle rattling right now. Hey, you're not leaking at all, but the whole bottom side of your car is oiled down. You lost a lot of oil. It's whenever. All right. The listen to this. Cool. Listen. 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 What did I it's say? It's a fiesta. They're maracas now. 
Well guys, that was unfortunately not as I hoped. Yes, sir. Me and Demonology are one and one. Unfortunately, the last run that I won, um, I think I might have hurt a lot of stuff on this car. This thing showed me last time we were at the track that it did not want to be beat on anymore. And we came out here tonight because I promised him that I was going to run him. And this has been an ongoing thing forever now. And everybody has been asking why we haven't ran, why we haven't ran, why we haven't ran. And honestly, it's just because times haven't been able to be worked out. It's just, it's kind of, it's just been hard. So basically what I'm assuming happened is because of the two step, it's probably been breaking down and blowing out the, the baffles and the exhaust. I think whenever I shipped it to fourth that last pass the baffle blew out and got clogged and basically stopped all of the exhaust from being able to escape and obviously there's a lot of pressure there and it didn't have anywhere to go and I think it just basically built up a ton of crankcase pressure and just blew it out and that might have been what that big white cloud of smoke was but there is a ton of oil in my filter I lost a really good bit of oil like we're talking quarts of oil that blew out through the intake anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off make this drive back home and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys when we get there and give you an update on how things go so cross your fingers I know I'm gonna be crossing Mine. the mustang made it home i don't know what happened to it i'm just gonna be honest with you i really don't know i'm gonna do some further assessment i think that the motor is okay after thinking about it on the way home i don't really feel like getting the whole explanation of why but i'll explain to you guys next video i'm just tired um the trans is okay motor's okay i don't know what to do to keep preventing these problems i'm probably just gonna end up honestly swapping in the build block and uh getting everything installed just biting the bullet spending the seven thousand dollars that it's gonna take to order the rest of the parts to finish out that motor and drop it in the car um, which is why i've been putting it off but can't help it so anyways guys thank you so much for my camera died but it came back on so we're just gonna end the video it's just it, this is not one to work so thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next video growing up parents got me a guitar said you could do anything kid you could go far you could be the president fireman race cars the sky's the limit kid so shoot for the stars so i strum that guitar every day found the passion for music never went away i joined a couple bands and played a few shows tried to impress the girl in the front row